What's good party people? So look, before we get into this review of my EDC, I want to give a special thanks to my ammo sponsor, which is ANH Ammunition. ANH Ammunition is a Louisiana uh, ammo company that's based out in Homa. Uh, I met them at the gun show and you know they agreed to rock with your boy. So this right here is their uh, 147 subsonic ammo. Uh, this is a new product that they testing. So when we get a can, hopefully we will. Uh, we will be testing these out. They sell anywhere between the 115, 115 to 147 grain ammo. That's both range and self-defense ammo. Uh, they have round counts from 20 piece from a 20 piece to all the way to a thousand piece in bulk so <clears throat> if you're in Louisiana or you're in Homa area and you want to rock with your own state with their ammunition feel free to hit up A&H ammunition on Instagram and get your orders in and have a nice smooth shooting experience now <clears throat> back in I want to say August um, I decided to do a, a winter build you know you have more clothes have more clothes on, bigger clothes on, so you can carry a bigger gun without, you know, really poking or printing, as they would say. So I decided to do a real Glock 19 build. Um, as y'all know, I love polymer 80 frames. That's why I built both of my, my channel is really based on polymer 80. Um, my duty guns are polymer 80. Uh, it's a serialized polymer 80, so um, uh, so I can uh, I can only thing I can do is really start you or tell y'all how it came about. All right, I had a partner that we was at the range. I had a partner. Um, he bought a Glock because everybody that's what everybody saying to buy, and he didn't like the grip. He he's just like me. He didn't like the grip angle, he didn't like the palm swell, he didn't like the finger grooves, he didn't like nothing about the frame itself. And he didn't want to go and send the gun off and things of that nature to get stippled and all that. Then he gonna be without a gun, because at the time that was his only EDC gun. So, um, what he wind up doing is wind up getting a Permelo State Armory uh, lower which was serialized and you know he swapped you know he swapped uh slides and stuff like that and he also wound up getting a polymer 80 frame which is he used all his internals from the OEM Glock frame into the polymer 80 frame 
So, you know, I was like, hey, bro, what you gonna do with the, with the friend? He was like, I thought you don't like. You know, I thought you don't like. You know, I was like, well, I'ma just um, do a tip of uh, stippling myself and stuff like that. So, you know, he let me have it. So, um, I just have two Glock frames. I have a 19 and a 23. I do not know what the 23 uh, frame at because a buddy of mine, because uh, later on that, later on, well, earlier on that year or this year, uh, I wanted to get a 23 frame and uh, a buddy of mine that do security with me, he didn't like it and he wanted to just go on Polymer 80. But I don't know where that frame at, but if I do, uh, I might do a build on it for him or whatever the case may be and or I might just give it back because he did ask me about it. So if you're watching this, I still gotta look for it. <laughs> but <clears throat> without further ado, um, let's get on to the review of this build. This right here is my 19 EDC winter build. Um, don't mind the background, that's my dogs. He, they moving around in the cage, but uh, we have pretty much mil spec everything. Everything is pretty much mil spec. Um, I don't do cutouts. I don't do cutouts or anything like that on guns that I carry unless it's ported, like a top window with the ports. That's the only way I carry, I carry a slide with lightning cuts. So. We started with the frame. I did a nice, well, I did a bullseye-like uh, pattern, which is real comfortable in the hand. I took away the palm swell, uh, kind of straightened it up, which is giving it, you know, that sort of a 19X, not 19X, 1911 uh, grip angle, but not really. Um, I did uh, double undercuts. Uh, I also did an accelerator cut and stipple that. Um, now, with everybody really been really been on Instagram asking me who do my circle work and who do all this all this work I do, you know, all this work for my builds. It's uh, I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, Stonic. Gunworks did the Magwell. Did the Magwell. Look at that. He did the. He did the. Uh, I say Magwell. This is the Magwell. I'm sorry. This is the Magwell. This is the Mag extension. He did the Mag extension. He did the Magwell and he did the slide all for one price. And, um, He's out of Florida, if I'm not mistaken. He is a comp he he is out of Florida. Um, he is on Instagram. I'll probably put his Instagram somewhere around here. Um, so basically, everything is mil spec. You know, when I say mil spec, it's like your your typical spec part. Like this is a pretty much a mil spec Glock uh, slide with front serration and RMR cut, uh, mil spec uh, Magwell and mil spec uh, mag extension. So when I say mil spec, for me, mil spec is pretty much um, close to stock or just CMC cut and, you know, basic. That's, that's, it. that's, that's, what, that's what that mean to me mill spec me um so we have a vector optics we're working with vector optics i've been uh using vector optics for two years going on three this year will be three years of me using vector optics uh we got cross armory fiber uh fiber suppressor height sights i think it's fiber uh fiber optic uh so what's so cool about this one is uh these sites is once any type of light hit it, the sights actually glow. 
Uh, they got the cutout, the entry cutout. Okay. See if y'all get that. Got the entry cutout. So when lights, when light hit it, it actually glows. And uh, for YouTube police, we are clear. Nothing is in the chamber. So <clears throat> this is my EDC. I I do have rounds in the in the mag, but we just gonna leave that right there. Um, we working with the nice stick uh, TCM 550XL. They got the 550 and the 550XL. Uh, I got the 550XL and it's pretty, it's pretty been pretty, holding up pretty reliable for me. Um, I, like I said, I carried this so you know I get, get banged up against stuff whenever I'm trying to like lift stuff and you know I then I carry it while I'm cutting hair so you know it's always getting hit against the uh, chair and all that good stuff and it still holds up it's still holding up and still reliable it's, it's pretty it's pretty much a good light so um I was going to do a TRL one I, I wanted to try the protruding light thing but I didn't want to lose too much comfortability because I'm already carrying a bigger gun. I carried, uh, the biggest gun I ever carried was a uh, Kadic TP9, the, the the second gen, not the D8, but the second gen, the Striker Fire, not the one with the uh, double action, and a decocker. Um, we have uh, Parmelo State Armory, um, uh, threaded barrel with a DPM with DPM uh, guy rod and for us internals we went with aggressive arms from uh, Tatcom I've been using as far as my polymer 80 builds, that, that's what I be using. I try to use like other uh, companies. Well, really I try to make, when I do polymer 80 builds, I try to use polymer 80, but sometimes the the products be out of spec, so I replace it with Techcom uh, internals, which is by Aggressive Arms, and phew, all problems go away. So that's why I use, um, but that's what I use for the most part. Now the holster I'm rocking with this is the Alien Arms uh, holster with the side cart, which is a, this is a, to say it has all this, to say this is all, it is so comfortable. It's so comfortable. Like, I wish they had this configuration. Well, I think they do. I think they do. But I did have to cut into it or dribble into it. Just dribble, dribble like a little C, C cut for my vector optic because it don't take uh, SRO style uh, red dots. But you know, once you cut that little piece, mwah, works beautifully. Um, I did the threaded barrel just in case um, down the line if I want to comp it, I, I'll comp it. But um, aggressive all make a, a, a compensator that that's probably like that kind of like probably gonna be like that big. Now nah, make it stick out about that much, that much more. But probably even flusher, you know. So I'm waiting for them to come out with it in black. So, Techcom, if you're watching this, I need that comp in black. But they made it for the, they make the comp for 43X. I had the comp before and I put it on like two, two, three other guns before it even got to, before it even got to what it was made for and it worked wonderfully. So, I want that comp. So, whenever they stop, they bring it back in black, I'm buying it. But um, rocking the OEM, OEM uh, 15 round mag with 
the 19x fde plus two mag extension man this shit is hard as hell to find it is hard as hell to find like it's, it's stupid hard to find like just like by itself it's, it's stupid hard to find uh i lucked up and got these uh i had three now i have two because he came back and got got one um but you know i, I do you know little jobs you know uh bills here and there for you know people people uh that i know and you know in law enforcement or security mainly security uh phil um but uh, a good buddy of mine he had i did a a gen 5 i did a gen 5 for him he you know tricked out gen 5 or whatever and he had replaced those the plus twos with plus five by cross armory and you know it was a last minute thing so i didn't charge him i just wanted i just wanted his pet his you know his mag extensions because i knew i could use it for something because i had like two or three um two or three frames in fde so i might you know need them or whatever but uh he wound up get, getting one of them because he needed it so i was like all right cool i'm still have two so it's no big deal so <clears throat> rocking that and of course we got like i said another factory oem mag with the plus five extension um but i run a uh, plus three sometimes i run plus four it depends on like the spring rate and if i'm comfortable how stiff it is or whatnot like if i feel like it's gonna wear down over time i do plus three so <clears throat> i'm rocking really instead of uh 20 i'm rocking what 17 18 rounds something like that um so the performance of of my my the glock the glock 19 um when i first put it together i really just threw i really threw it together like i threw i threw it together i, I put a whole bunch of parts that i had laying around and made a upper little kit and a lower lower kit and threw it together and i had a polymer 80 well the slide the original slide of my duty pistol which is the regular polymer 80 slide i had that on there and i had a, a little magwell on there and i rock well with with this mag and that's how i was rocking it until you know I, I made the decision to build it and when i put it together and took it to the range ran flawlessly uh in that in that form i put around 200 250ish rounds through it um uh, i got a short on on i got a short i did i actually did that did it with um well showing the configuration but i almost i'm also gonna um post it on my instagram store well my instagram um which is the same thing nola underscore tactical for instagram so make sure y'all go follow me on instagram if you liking what you're seeing so far make sure you hit that subscribe button you hit that like button and just drop a comment let me know you know how you how you feeling you know how you what you think about the bill but um once i did the bill and i got the sponsorship with nh uh it was interesting because um went went to went to the range with the ammo and i kept getting like promise strikes kept getting like promise strikes kept getting like promise strikes like it was so bad i was getting like a whole mag full of like promise strikes so at first i'm thinking man i don't know about this you know what i'm saying like i don't know about this ammo yo like you know so 
Uh, I talked to some of my partners at the uh, at the range that I go to, um, and he was like, "Man, look, just just hit him up, and you know, hey, bro, let him know what's going on and whatnot." And then he was like, and then in the other hand, he was like, "Was well, that OEM, you know, a hundred percent OEM parts?" I was like, "Nah." He was like, "Well, that's part of the build process, bro." Like. I will also go home and check out what's going on, you know, too, to make sure it's not completely on a end. So that's what I did. I called them, let them know what's going on. They sucked me out some more, and I took the whole gun apart and dissected it. Um, and when I took my slide apart, I noticed the couplers on the on the uh, striker, I know the, the striker couplers for the spring that connects the strike, well, that keeps the spring in the strike, in the striker was like, was like this. It was like, 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 it was like that, you know, coming like that with the striker, like sitting like right here. So once I seen that, I, I took apart another gun. Well, I took apart another uh, slide that I had, um, and I seen that it was like this. So I was like, "That's a problem." Luckily, I had some OEM, uh, some OEM uh, couplers that I put it on there. Got the ammo. Went back. I think like two days later, ran like a top. When I say ran like a top, I mean ran like a top. Uh, so far, I have just about just about 400-ish rounds through it. Um, I did drills, you know, I did some drills. Um, did some mag changes. Uh, I got a little uh, uh, PVO, uh, PVO footage like you seen all that I did all that uh, that day and it ran fine uh, so far it's holding up still holding up um, I have not lost the rule nothing like that so you know uh, I'm, I'm happy with the with how this bill came out and when I when I started the bill I was like I don't want to spend uh, Gucci Glock money, Gucci Glock money. So, yeah, I might be mindful. I started with a frame. So, with that, I was like, well, I have to have set a budget. So, with everything, I spent the, the I say maybe uh, a hundred dollar, a hundred maybe. Ten dollars cheaper than a Glock MOS uh, Gen 5 MOS, and that was like I spent like six hundred and I want to say six hundred and thirty-ish dollars. Down here, Glock MOS is just easy, uh, easy seven fifty to eight hundred dollars, depending on what store you go to. You go to Jefferson, you definitely. If you go to Jefferson hours late, you definitely, you definitely spending over eight hundred dollars. Like they is, they high, bro. Like Jefferson guy hour late is high, bro. So um, that's that's where I, I I wanted to. I guess you could say I wanted to set my, my budget at so I actually did good I saved a hundred probably like a hundred and ten dollars or something like that but that's gonna be that's really gonna conclude this bill um show y'all one more time the sexiness you feel me that's gonna really gonna conclude the bill of this gun um Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you uh, hit the bell to get all the 
everything that that, that I drop, you, you get it to your notifications. Uh, let's push the 2A community and the QA, 2A content out in the algorithms. Um, I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Um, I'm trying to hit 1,000 uh, subscribers. Really, I want to hit 2K by 2025. That's the goal. You know, I got to start somewhere. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.